Hi Rosie, it's Jill with CrickFlix. I got your file today and I've just opened it up and let me straighten it out a little bit here before I move forward. First one I'm going to take is click on the little sailboat over here and if you notice, if I zoom in here, oh I'm going to try this one. Okay. Oh now that's just great. There we go. And that didn't, I didn't like that. That zoomed in too close. I sure hope I didn't accidentally update something here. Anyway, um, if you look at this, see all these lines? You got a whole bunch of red lines here. You're not going to want it to cut out this circle up here and cut out here and cut out here. You're not going to want to do all that. So you're going to go to your knife and you're going to click Cut Edge. Now notice how all those red lines went away. However, if you want this, if you're going to cut this boat out and you want it to cut out as one piece, what I would recommend doing is I would um, do a uh, offset around it and I hit my, and then I would take my offset and I would bring it in to, um, let me move this over a little bit here. Oh, I think if I move it into just about 20 here and maybe outline it in white. Um, let's see here. I don't know why this is acting so funky. I wonder if this file is corrupt. Because you said it was going wacko on you. It's going wacko on me too. I don't know what's going on here. Let me go over here and go back. Well, now I got the sailboat working right. Yeah, now it's outlined right, but the the outline, the cut line on this is cut outer edge. And then my sailboat went way up here. What the heck? This is really strange. When you said it was going wacky on you, I didn't know what you meant. But I'm getting the same thing here. This is going wacky on me. I, I don't know if this something happened with this file. Um, because I can't even turn this off on it. Let's see if it goes off now. Yeah, now it did. Something's funky going on though. I'm going to say that because it's not acting right. Okay, we've got that outer edge and group that. So this is one piece. There's the sailboat. What I'll do is save it and send this right back to you. It's a boy. Um, I'm going to zoom back. I don't know how big you wanted these, but one thing that I do notice here, and I'm going to move it up here a little bit. I'm going to ungroup it first and kind of move these pieces around. And I'm going to ungroup it again. To me, it doesn't look like it's centered. So I'm going to just kind of take these pieces. First thing I'm going to do is put this right here. I'm going to box it in and try and remember where my center. There we go. That one's centered. Now I'm going to take this white one and put it over here and group those all together. And now that's centered. And I believe you had this right up in there. And then it's a boy. Now you can do one or two things here. It's a boy. You can go on the out right here. It's highlighted and boxed in and put no cut. So that means it will print only. Um, either way that you do this is, um, oops, I need to bring it to the front. You can either do it before or after. There you go, and everything is all centered up now for you. Um, it didn't look centered to me. It could have been, but it might be just something look funky. Then go to your knife up here and cut outer edge only. It will not cut out. It's a boy now. Now that one I'll move aside. Let me see this one. And see, it doesn't look centered. And I'm not really sure. You're going to have to tell me because to me it doesn't look like it's centered. I'm going to take this one apart too. And let me box these two together and go up here and center it. Nope, they aren't centered because I can see it moving. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to center that. Yeah, they weren't. And move this to the front. 
um, let them move to the front. And there you go. Now that one's done. I'm going to group them all together and I'm going to hit cut outer edge. That one looks like it's fine. I'm going to move that one over here for you. And this one, I'm going to ungroup. Now watch as I ungroup it and I take these pieces off. Whoops, that's grouped also. And I'm going to take the white off. But when I put these two together and I hit up here and I hit center, watch the red. The red. It'll move because it's not centered. Ever so slightly, but it wasn't centered. Um, now I'm going to take and group these three together and I'm going to tell it to center it. There, now it's centered. And then I'm going to bring this one to the front. And there you go. Now I'm going to group those three together. And I'm going to hit cut outer edge. Because otherwise that's going to cut that boat out. Okay, that one's okay now. I'm going to get rid of this one. Cut. You don't need that. Um, and I'm going to bring this in here. And I'm going to ungroup this one as well. And pull it apart. And I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm going to pull it apart. I'm going to just put these two together. And I'm going to go back up here. And I'm going to hit center. There we go. That's centered. And I'm going to group these together and hit center. And there it goes. And then I'm just going to move this to the front. And I'm going to hit the cut line on this again just to show you. If I put no cut, then when I put this over here, it's not going to cut that out. Or again, you can group them all together and do cut outline. Okay, that's done. So we've got that image done. Let's see what we got here. And that was just your circle. Again, I'm going to ungroup this again just to show you one more time. If I pull this out, watch very closely. I'm going to zoom in so you can really see close. Like I said, I'm, I eyeball everything. And so when something doesn't center, I can, I don't know. I don't measure anything, but I, I can tell when something's not centered. So when I hit this up here, almost looks like a doorknob. I don't know. Click on that. The very top one is center. And I'm going to hit that. And you can ever so slightly see that red move. Now, so you can see even better, I'm put that off to the side and you will see it move. Now this circle, all these pieces are grouped together and I am going to do a cut outline. There you go. Now, let's zoom out. And I don't know how big that you're going to make any of these. They are all now centered. They are all, if you look and grouped all of them together and you hit cut, you can see all of them are only cutting out the outline. Remember, when I zoom in, like um, I'm going to bring it closer so you can see. The only line that's going to cut is the one that's the dark red. And that's what you want. You had the boat that was going to cut in a bunch of shredded pieces. And you had It's a Boy that was going to cut out. And the boat over here was going to cut out. Now all of these are only going to cut out the outer edge. Now I am going to take this, I am going to save it as, because I want to save it as a silhouette file. And actually, I'm going to change the name, oh yeah, Rosie Baby Shower Boy. And there we go. Then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to respond back to you. And come on. And then I am going to do an attachment. Come on. Oh, I suppose if I would hit on it. Right here, choose file. 
And there you go. Now you have it. Um, I made this image for a friend, so I'm sure I want to send it to cut. It's cutting out. It's a boy, okay? Because you didn't outline, cut outline, outer edge only. And going out wacko, want the world to, okay. We got the wacko all cl um, cleared up too. So it's on its way back to you. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Goodbye.